Today I fucked up by coming into a coconut. This tifu didn't happen today but quite a few years back. For obvious reasons, I'm using a throwaway account as my family knows my main reddit username. Anyway, around 8 years back I lived in northern Mozambique, a coastal southern African country with quite a warm climate. My mother at the time was going through a health nut phase and only buying foods she deemed healthy enough. One of these was coconuts. She would buy several coconuts a week to use in food from the local market. Anyway, being a horny teenager I fapped in regular intervals. Unfortunately, there was some severely stressful examinations coming up for me, and as such my fapping reached a higher peak than usual, and I was feeling pretty sexually frustrated. One day I hear that my mother is going to be out for pretty much the entire afternoon. Horny me decides that it would be a fantastic idea to fuck a coconut. Honestly to this day, I can't fathom why I thought that would be a good idea, but my train of thought back then was clearly somewhat clogged. I end up grabbing the coconut drill, and through 20-ish minutes of concerted effort end up creating a hole large enough for me to stick my porker into. I decide it requires some lube and grab the nearest slippery thing, some butter, before shoving it into the coconut, followed shortly by my meat. I fuck the coconut and it actually feels pretty damn good, so I blow my load, shove the coconut under my bed, and continue about my day. For the next week, the coconut is my savior. Whenever I want to get off I simply take it out and fuck it in its delightfully tight hole made better each time by accumulating volumes of my semen and butter acting as a lubricant. It's heaven. Now before I continue I'd best mention that at the time our area was experiencing quite humid muggy weather which exacerbated an already existing fly problem. Disgustingly fat, bloated flies were commonly found around our house and the exterminators couldn't really do anything because it was a localized area problem that would go away in the winter. About a week and a bit after the initial coconut fuck, I had been using it pretty much every day since then, I begin to notice a few more flies than usual as well as a not unpleasant smell about my room. Must be the coconut right. So I decided that I'll fuck it once more before I throw it out and get a new one. Worst mistake I have ever made. You see, the reason for the increased number of flies was that the coconut was evidently, in hindsight, a nearly perfect place to lay eggs. As I penetrate the coconut one last time I begin to feel a strange wriggling sensation. Puzzled, I pull my cock out to discover that it is covered in rotted and moldy butter and semen and teeming with tiny fucking maggots. They were wriggling all over my dickhead and some were even trying to force their way up into my urethra. I screamed and threw the coconut against the wall which made the situation worse by spilling the contents. Bows of vigorous cock scrubbing, vomiting, and cleaning the remnants were spent reflecting on what the fuck I was doing with my life. Never again. Never again. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to turn on notifications, so you'll be sure to know when the next video comes out. Want to watch some more? Check out my other videos. I really do appreciate everyone who helps make these videos possible. And as always, thanks for watching.